your doctor prescribing TRT without checking luteinizing hormones, like your mechanic replacing your entire engine because a spark plug went out. Imagine tripling your testosterone just by fixing the communication between your brain and your balls. Not too long ago, we had a 42-year-old guy whose doc wanted to put him straight on TRT for low testosterone. His total testosterone was 290, but nobody ever bothered to check his LH levels. Turns out his brain wasn't even sending the signal to produce testosterone in the first place. It's like having a perfectly good car with a dead battery. Here's what most guys don't understand about testosterone production. It doesn't start in your balls, it starts in your brain. Your hypothalamus is like the CEO sending memos to your pituitary, which then emails your testes saying, hey, let's make some testosterone. But if the CEO is asleep at his desk, nobody's getting any work done downstairs. Meanwhile, docs are out here firing the whole workforce instead of just waking up the boss. But here's where it gets absolutely ridiculous. TRT is like hiring a bunch of contractors to do the job your employees could get done if someone just turned the lights on in the office. You're paying more money, creating lifelong dependence, and your original team's just sitting around doing nothing. Plus, those contractors don't give a shit about your fertility or your natural rhythms. They're just there to clock in and clock out. So back to this guy. His LH was basically flatlined, which meant his testes were employees waiting for instructions that never came. We basically just walked in the CEO's office and shook him awake. 12 weeks later, his total testosterone went from 290 to 870. His free was 13 and his whole hormone system was humming like a well-oiled machine again. Stop letting docs fire your whole hormone department when the problem is just bad management upstairs.